Hello Math Wizards! Now, we will move on to our topic with quadratic function and we will be having properties of a quadratic function. So, uh, we need to unlock first uh, some of the important words or, and terms related to the graph of a quadratic function. Now, let's match column A to column B. So, number one, domain. So, domain is, it is the possible values of x. Number two, range. Range is the possible values of y. Number three, axis of symmetry. It is the line that divides the graph symmetrically. Reflection. It is the co-image formed by the other function. Number five is translation. It is the movement of the graph of a quadratic function. Now let's continue. So, let's have a guide in identifying the properties of a quadratic function. So, uh, written on your screen, the vertex of a quadratic function is hk. And to identify the opening, uh, if a is less than 0, that is downward. And a is greater than 0, it is upward. Maximum or minimum value. Maximum value if A is less than 0. Minimum if A is greater than 0 at Y is equal to K. K comes from the Y coordinate of our vertex. In identifying zeros, we have R sub 1, R sub 2. X intercept is R sub 1, 0, R sub 2, 0. In Y intercept, 0, B. Axis of symmetry. X is equal to H. Uh, H comes from the X coordinate of our vertex. For the range, if A is less than 0, then Y is less than equal to K. If A is greater than 0, then Y is greater than equal to K. Let's continue. So now let's identify, now let's identify the properties of a quadratic function given the graph. So in this case, uh, we just need to identify what is the turning point in the graph of the given function? So, as what you can see, encircled on the circled part of the quadratic function, it is at the coordinate 1, 4. So, our vertex is at 1, 4. So, based on the opening of our graph, it opens downward. Number 3, maximum or minimum value. Since we have... Uh, the opening of the parabola which is downward, it means that it has a maximum value and the value of uh, the function is y is equal to 4 now let's determine the zeros the ze zeros are uh, the intersection of the x-axis and the graph of our function and the graph intersects at negative 1 and positive 3 in identifying the x-intercept, we will just identify the coordinates where the graph and the x-axis intersect. So that is negative 1, 0, 3, 0. When it comes to y-intercept, it is the intersection of the graph and the y-axis. In this case, the coordinates of the point of intersection of the, the graph and the y-axis is at 0, 3. As what you can see in our illustration, the line of symmetry or axis of symmetry that passes through the vertex. So, the axis of symmetry is at x is equal to h or x is equal to 1, the x coordinate of our vertex. Now, let's identify domain. In the graph, domain is any real number, range. In this case, as what you can see, uh, the range or the values of y greater than 4 uh, will not satisfy the function or uh, the graph will not pass through through the points greater than 4 therefore our range will be y is less than equal to 4 let's continue how about if we have this kind of graph now let's identify the vertex so in this case the vertex is at negative 1, negative 
in this case the opening is upward so based on the graph it has a minimum value and that is minimum value at y is equal to negative 4.5 so we have a minimum value at y is equal to negative 4.5 or the value of k in our vertex how about the zeros again the zeros is the value of x when y is zero so that is what we have encircled in our illustration so the zeros are negative 4 and 2 making it a coordinates therefore it is our intercept x intercept so our x intercept will be negative 4 0 2 0 now let's have the y intercept the y-intercept is the intersection of the graph and our y-axis. So the coordinates in the intersection is 0, negative 4. While the axis of symmetry is passing through the points negative 1, negative 4.5. Therefore, our line of symmetry or the axis of symmetry is x is equal to negative 1. Again, Solving for the domain, it is always any real number of, it is always any real number. Now for the range, since uh, the value of our function will not be lower, the value of y in our function will not be lower than negative 4.5, therefore our range will be y is greater than equal to negative 4.5. Now try to identify the properties of the quadratic function like share and comment your suggestions on the comment box below and don't forget to subscribe to get notified with our latest videos just click the notification bell